The next bill that uh, is part of this health care package is House Bill 1331. We call it the Michael Skolnick Medical Transparency Act. Michael's mother, Patty, is with us here today, and I'm going to ask her to speak. Michael was 22 years old in 2001 when he suddenly collapsed. Three years later, he died. His mother believes he might still be with us today if she had been aware of the neurosurgeon's history as a professional. House Bill 1331 is a patient's right to know bill, crafted with the support of patient advocates like the Colorado Citizens for Accountability and professional organizations such as the Colorado Medical Society. Uh, representatives of both of those organizations join us today. The Colorado Board of Medical Examiners will now have the responsibility of collecting critical information on whether a doctor has a criminal or a malpractice record, and that information will be made public. This will help consumers of medical services make better decisions about their medical care. On House Bill 1331, I'd ask uh, first Representative Morgan Carroll to speak. You know, um, I was thinking about this bill, and there's a lot of legislation we carry up here that actually affects every citizen in Colorado, and they don't even know it. And a lot of times when we pass bills, you can't really put a face or a name on it. With House Bill 1331, we can. Uh, this is a very real bill um, informed by a very real situation and is aptly named in honor of the memory of Michael Skolnick. Um, I think sometimes we don't like to talk about things that make us uncomfortable, but the reality is that we have an unacceptably high level of medical errors that are occurring in a first world country, as much as 98,000 preventable medical errors per year, and it is indeed the eighth leading cause of death in the United States. It's unacceptable. The rate of errors drives up the cost of health care. It hurts patients, and particularly in the cases where it can be avoidable, I think we have a moral obligation to actually do just that. With this bill, it will take the criminal history, the negligence history, the med mal history, and for physicians, for example, who've lost their prescription uh, privileges in other states, and it will no longer let them hop around from state to state to escape that history. Now, the entire professional history of every physician who's going to be practicing in Colorado will follow them from every state they've ever been, and that information now for the first time, thanks to Governor Ritter, will be available to every health care consumer in the state of Colorado so people can make informed choices about the very real life and death decisions that we all may unfortunately need to face at some point in the future. So I really want to thank you, Governor. This is a really important bill you're signing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Senator Tocktrop. Um, thank you, Governor. And it was an honor and a privilege to be able to carry this legislation in the Senate uh, in honor of Michael Stolnick. Um, his mother came to me and um, showed me the tape, and I, I ask everybody if they get a chance to please look at it and understand really the reason behind this bill. What this bill will do is hopefully prevent another family of going through what that family went through because of the un inability for that family to find out that physician's background and this is an extremely important bill. It provides transparency for our consumers in health care and I thank Governor Ritter for signing it. Thank you. In uh, my career as a prosecutor, I often met people who took a tragedy and turned it into something positive for their fellow citizens and something that was forward-looking and something that acted as a prevention tool uh, so that others would not befall the same sort of tragedy. The Skolnick family is certainly among that group of people, and it's always such an honor and a privilege uh, to know people like them. I would now invite Patty Skolnick to the uh, microphone and ask her to make some comments. Good afternoon, everyone. David and I would like to thank House Representative Morgan Carroll and Senator Totrop for sponsoring the Michael Skolnick Medical Transparency Act. The Colorado Citizens for Accountability staff, Isaac, for spending endless hours lobbying with me, and Travis for doing public relations and necessary communications that needed to be handled. This has been Politics 101, 
on-the-job training. Excuse me. Governor Ritter, you probably won't remember, but I met you at a function in the very beginning of your campaign. I turned to you and I said, remember my name, I will meet you again. <laughs> I didn't know then that this is where our next meeting would be. Thank you for showing your wisdom in signing this bill. We are passionate about the subject of patient safety we have paid the ultimate price of losing our son. With the Michael Skolnick Transparency Act, the people of Colorado will have the ability to get answers about their health professionals and to make informed decisions. The majority of the physicians are excellent. This bill is to weed out those doctors that do not adhere to first do no harm. We believe Bill 1331 will open communication between patients and doctors, and people will not feel powerless to ask questions. Patient safety is a relatively new, and we need to is relatively new, and we need to educate consumers. To quote Representative Carroll, "It's what you don't know that can kill you." We have now empowered the public to go to the Colorado Medical Board of Examiners website as of January 1st, 2008 to find the information needed to reduce the chances of you, your spouse, your parent, your child from becoming a statistic. Thank you to all our friends and associates for supporting us and cheering us on.